Domain names, on some level, have become sort of big business. I don't know how big they are, but people care about names. These are, this is the identity for your site, right? If you start a company, and the company is named MyGreatNewCompany, uh, my and you can't get MyGreatNewCompany.com, you might consider changing the name of your company. In fact, a lot of tech startups, I suspect, when they are choosing names, look into the availability of domain names that they can use to host their company's website. Because if those domain names are not available, you know, then, then that might be a problem. Think about Facebook. So when Facebook got started, they actually used the na domain name thefacebook.com. That was what was available. Once they got big and powerful and rich and they were able to purchase facebook.com, the rest is history. But, you know, um, so domain, name, domain names, um, you know, have created this economic market and that's also created some really interesting side notes, right? So, uh, the, and, and you can read about these things online, but I'll talk a little bit about some of the sort of the, the effects of the fact that domain names are so ubiquitous online. Um, one is something that's called domain name parking. So what does it mean to park a domain name? Well, it means something simple. You buy a domain name that you think is useful uh, to somebody else, potentially, and then you hold on to it. And when they want it, they come to you and they say, hey, I'd like to buy that domain name. And you say, well, I'm going to charge you a lot of money for that. Uh, one of the more <laughs> interesting um, examples of domain name parking is a site called twins.com. So here is twins.com. Uh, I don't, I don't want to, to lampoon these guys, whatever. I mean, they're, 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 this is owned by a pair of twins, Sterling and David Miller. They purchased this site fair and square. Uh, they own twins.com. Who else might want to own twins.com? Hmm, let's see. What about the Minnesota Twins, the baseball team? Uh, if I go to uh, redsocks.com, uh, I'm at the Boston Red Sox website. So this redirects me to uh, boston.redsox.mlb.com. The Major League Baseball would like this domain name and they have tried to purchase it and I suspect that they have offered the Miller Twins a fair sum. But the Miller Twins own this domain name and they are not going to let it go. Um, in this case, I'm not sure it's fair to call this parking. I mean, I think that these um, these brothers actually enjoy having this website. Um, and clearly, you know, one of the, the reasons people park domain names frequently is to make money when someone comes along and wants it. Um, so. So that's domain name parking. Um, the, the other is interesting effect of the economics of domain names, of course, is, is partly due to parking. Certain domain names are really expensive. So if you go off and you look on Google domains or whatever, what you'll find is that certain domain names cost you a lot of money. Like we found one uh, that was like $880 a year, and then others are really cheap. And that has something to do with people who are buying them in some sense of the desirability of a particular domain name. How likely is it that if I buy that, I'm going to be able to sell it to somebody else for more than that and make money, right? So, so the economics of domain names. Um, one of the more interesting and sometimes humorous uh, things that goes on online with domain name purchases is something that we'll, that we call that people call defensive acquisition. So let's say you're a famous public figure, and you maybe you run for public office or something like that, and you want to make sure that people don't set up websites to kind of make fun of you. So you know I, I might be worried that someone's going to buy you know Jeff Challen uh, looks crappy in a leather jacket dot com and then use that to post pictures of me in a leather jacket and, and people will look at those and think, well, yeah, I kind of agree with that. He doesn't look great in a leather jacket, especially when it's fake. Um, anyway, so what do people do in that situation? Well, if, if I'm rich um, and I have a team of people working for me, I could send those people out into the world and I could say, please buy up every possible domain name that someone else might purchase someday and use to make fun of me because I don't want that. Um, so, okay, let's look at a couple examples of this. At some point recently, the, the ICANN opened up a new top-level domain called .nyc, and apparently around that time, a certain New York City billionaire uh, decided to go on a little bit of a defensive domain name purchase spree. Uh, so th these, are hard, these are hard to read, um, and this one I'm not even sure I should write down uh, in, bigger, in bigger font. So this is one of the domain names that he purchased that was defensive. It's, it says Bloomberg... Uh, derogatory term dot NYC. Uh, this one I actually can write down. So this one says uh, Bloomberg, the, this address is Bloomberg 
is too rich dot nyc so so this is an actual domain name that was purchased uh, apparently by mike bloomberg probably by one of his staff um, simply to make sure that someday in the future if you think mike bloomberg is too rich and you want to register this domain name too bad it's already taken um, and you'll have to find a different one now obviously you know i don't know bloomberg is way too rich down NYC might still be available, so it's not clear how effective this sort of thing is. Uh, but it also does give you a little bit of a glimpse into, in, into people's feelings about themselves. A number of the Bloomberg websites uh, had to do with him being too short. I don't know how tall he is. I guess he's not particularly tall. But uh, Bloomberg is short. NYC is also taken. So anyway, uh, you know, domain name parking, uh, the, the, the sort of economics of domain names is, is pretty interesting. Um, if you are starting a tech company, think about this. Make sure that you pick a name that you can get for cheap.